this is Dina. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am working on a mini album. And this particular one, I bought it already pre-made. All I have to do is decorate it. So I thought I would bring y'all along with me to see how I decorate this mini album. I am going Disney theme. In my group, we are doing a vacation swap. And a lot of people go on vacation to Disney. And so I thought it'd be fun to do a Disney swap. And so I'm just going to do some stitching like I did on my last album because I think it just made it so cute. I'm using my zigzag stitch. I'm just going to sew the front and the back of, my, of where the paper goes. And this is for the spine. It is a three inch spine. So I thought that it would make it super cute. Now, I paired everyone up in my group that wanted to swap this one, and it came down to the last comment was, um, nice swap, Dina, Aunt Dina. And my niece, Angie, she is uh, one of my older sister's daughters. She's like 40, I think Angie's like in her young 40s. But anyway, um, she is a beautiful artist and everything. And so I called her and said, I saw that you made a comment about the swap. Are you wanting to swap? And I said, because I don't have a partner because I had paired myself up, but I needed to make sure I had enough partners for everyone. I didn't want to leave anybody that, that um, signed up out. So I had taken my name off of a person I paired myself with so I can make sure everyone had a partner. I didn't want anybody to be without. So I am gonna end up swapping. It's my niece's first time. So I'm going to, so she said she would like to give it a try. So this will be her first swap. She's never done this before. So I'll just swap with her. So anyway, um, she knows I'm doing Disney because I told her. And I don't know what she's going to do, but the requirement for the swap is to make an album. That way, pictures can be put in the album of your vacation. So, it's a vacation time swap. You can send goodies or whatever if you'd like, but you have to send the album. So, as you see, I'm just stitching around. I'm just using some white thread because I didn't want to do red because red would have looked good on this blue paper but then I would have had to I don't think it would have looked very good if I did red on red it might not have been the exact red so I decided just to do white stitching almost got my thumb there not under the needle though okay. went off the line a little bit but I think I'm still going to be fine I like to back stitch just because it kind of holds that stitch in and um, yeah so this one is gonna be super fun I'm excited about this and when I was thinking about our swap and what we will do I thought that um, a vacation time swap would do good and not everybody might not want to do like a Disney swap and so I thought vacation swap because I thought it'd be fun to do a Disney and this paper I actually got on scrapbook.com and I'll show you guys that in just a second. So let's get this one finished. Now to me if you're going to stitch on the paper for the front cover Make sure you do the back one too. You want it to match. This is my opinion. And our last row is coming. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's Sunday afternoon. It is raining here in North Texas and we are expecting seven days of rain. So, but I love rain. Down to the end. Give me a back stitch in here. And there we go. Okay, we're going to get on over to my craft table and get to decorating. So, this is the album base that I'm going to use. And this, I got this on scrapbook.com. 
This is the label that came off of it. So the cover measures six and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and it has a three inch spine. So as you see, it came already made, so I don't have to put this together. And it is fun putting them together, but it's also fun to have a little help sometime. And this album is gonna have help. I've got help. So it has flip outs, and I'm thinking that I might use this as an album, but also make it kind of like a scrapbook type thing instead of just for pictures. So this is how it is. It's got the flips. I can make my own if I want to add, or I might just continue just to decorate each page and then just add from there. So anyway, that's the album that I'm going to use. And then this is the paper collection that I'm using, a day at the another day at the park. And it's a photo play and it's just super cute. So I've got that, and then I also have some coordinating papers, and this is also um, another day in the park. So I've got six of those I'll be able to work in, so we'll see how far I can get. So I'm gonna start by just um, putting the, the, the cover paper first, and um, I'm gonna move this out of the way. My scraps, I'm gonna save all scraps because I'm gonna need them. I've only got one collection for a whole album. So, let me get my light up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is these are gonna go front and back and spine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Some people wait to the end to do their cover, but to me, it doesn't matter. So, let me see if I can grab my I think I might I might glue. So and I'm thinking too, do I need to layer up? I mean it looks good without it, but I'm thinking some red sticking up from under there or yellow, but it'd be super pretty. I'm thinking maybe yellow, so maybe I need to layer up on some yellow. Okay, so I have some of this is kind of a goldish yellow, and I think that it will match pretty well. I just want it just for a little prettiness here. Um, but it's just going to be sticking right out under the edge. I'm going to get this down where it needs to go and then I will cut. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get this glued on. I'm going to stick my pan over here so I don't lose it. And I'm going to get my glue, my glue around the edges. I really, really do love the way it looks with, with the stitching on it. It looks really pretty. Just gave it so much extra. Okay, gonna get this down. Just like this. And get it, just go as straight as you can. Nothing's perfect. Now that I got this down, I'm going to use my trimmer. I'm going to trim this off. I'm just going to trim it as close just to have a little peekaboo paper. That's it. And that looks really good. Just a little something, something. So let's go ahead and mount the other one really fast. And the spine. Got to do them all. Got another piece. Now I could have used a little bit brighter paper, but this one, the, the color on the cupcakes and the yellow is kind of a little bit darker. So this is as close as I have. And it's just a, just a, like an accent paper. So, um, if you're new to my channel, I am using Art Glitter Glue. And we're going to get this one. Let's get this matted. Just leave a little bit. It really gives it a lot of something here. Actually, I'm very excited about just using a pre-made base. You know, I don't have to worry about 
about everything. It's just ready to roll for me. Okay, got that one ready. Now I'm just gonna do the spine. Let's get the spine, it's gonna go. Let's get the glue. This paper is just gorgeous, y'all. And I have some new ideas or some new things that I'm going to put in my craft fair and I'm fixing to place an order for the supplies. And when I get all that, I will come on and show you some, some different things that I plan on putting in my craft fair this year. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. I told my husband I got to place an order. He's like, okay. My husband is so supportive. You know, he is, I'm so blessed because he's very supportive and just like, okay, whatever you want to do, you know. So I've got this. One more side. I hope you don't find this too boring. This is just decorating. I'm just going to try to decorate a few pages and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, now we're going to have a nice spine. Let's get that on. Make sure you get glue right up on that edge. The best that you can. And I'm just going to line that up, get it pressed down really good. And that is going to be good. You want to make sure that glue adheres. See how nicely the stitching looks? Nice. Okay, now let's do the front. Okay, here we go. Let me get this front. Get that paper all lined up. How fun is this paper, y'all? So fun. Look how sweet it is. Super, super sweet. That looks good. Let's do the back one. And then we'll move on. I'll decorate, decorate the front. Um, probably in the very end. side. Okay. Not too bad. Look how sweet it looks. Oh my goodness. It just really did so much for it. Look at the stitching and look at that spine. Okay. Now we can move on to the inside. So you make the, you have to just make the decision what you want it to look like inside. So I think I'm gonna try to go with um, maybe one of my solid pieces. I'm liking this light blue um, that I got. Um, and the other side is black, so I won't use that. But I'm thinking I won't even mat this part. I probably will just put the lining. Um, the nice thing is, is if you want to add a pocket on here, you can, you can do that. But I think what I'm going to do to make it a little easier on myself so I can see, since I'm working with a black base, I might just line this up where it needs to go. And then... And I'll go ahead and cut a front and a back. And I think I might do, oh, I have a different blue as well. I think I'll do both, both front and backs the same color. So I'm gonna cut them at the same time. 
I had to look to see where the marks were. Now you could do stitching on the front if, or in the inside if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I think that I will just do just the paper. And I might do a little pocket on there as well. So let me get my paper ready for the pocket. Okay, so I cut, before I cut the papers for the pockets, I also have some papers from before that I had saved. And I have a bunch of pieces in here that's already cut and stuff. But I saved them. But I did also have this one that came from the Magic Wonder Collection. Um, so I think I'll use this for the front and back pockets. So... I'm just gonna kind of mix and match as long as they're in the right, uh, as long as they're in the right um, order. So we just need to measure the inside. Let me grab my my ruler. Okay, this one. Okay, so. It, it's like six and a quarter across. So I want to add, and I'm going to add a half an inch on each side to be able to tuck underneath. So I need about six and a half um, inches across. So seven and a half inches across. So that's what I'm going to cut my paper at. So I'm going to cut... I need to cut it this way. And I'm going to do seven and a half inches because that will give me a half an inch to wrap underneath. And I think that I'll do this uh, since the this album is it's eight and a half. So I think I'll do like um, four and a half. I'll do four. I think I'll do four. So it gives me like a little four inch pocket, but I'll use a half an inch for, to score. So it'll be about three and a half inches tall. So I think that that will be, that will suffice. And what you're gonna need to do to make your pockets is grab your scoreboard and just line it up. I'm gonna score half an inch on each side and then one inch or half an inch on the bottom as well. And then just make sure that it's gonna fit up in there. And I think I made it a little wide. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna fix that. And as long as it's the width of my paper. So I kind of went over a little bit. Just measure your paper at an inch. So a half an inch on each side. So I'm a little bit larger. But it's okay. So just go ahead and just, I'll just uh, alter that score mark. And it'll be fine. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to do a little scallop trim like I did on my last album. And I made that trim by using this Fiskars trimmer right here. And so I'm just using a scrap piece of white I have in my scraps. And I'm just going to line it up underneath this line right here to start it. And then I'm just going to punch. And I'm going to move it over. And if you don't get it like right on the end, it's okay. You can cut it. And I'm going to just move it over. Line it up. If you've never used one of these punches before, just line it up. And get that off. So there it looks like this. I have a little bit of a little notch right there. I'm not going to worry about that. So then I'm going to take my piece of paper. Um, this one is for one of the, the pockets. And I'm going to take the paper and I'll just line it up underneath. And that way I can make this 
beautiful scallop edge. And once I get it exactly where I want it, I'm going to get that lined up. I'm going to make myself a little mark over here so I know where to cut it. And then I'm just going to cut it off. And I don't need this big piece, so I'm just going to trim it. I'm just going to line it up. It doesn't need to be big. It's going to be underneath. And then I will just take this and it's going to go right under there. It gives me a beautiful scallop edge right under there. So all I'm going to do is just add my glue. And my grandkids went home while well ago and um, it's a gloomy day here in North Texas. Okay, so I'm just going to go down a little bit. I just want to go down. I just want it to peak. You know what I mean? Just kind of peak over. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make sure that's down. I'm going to take my paper. And I'm going to get this lined up around the base paper. Because you want to put your pocket on first. I'm going to glue it. Got glue on both sides and the bottom. And what I'm going to do is take the paper and you line it up. And you're going to make sure this is pressed down to that bottom. And then press the sides over. Now, I am not a pro album maker. This is just the way Dina does it. So there are far more people that can do this 100% better, but this is just the way I do it. So let me make the other okay. one. So I got both pockets ready to go. So I got, they're looking good. Both have the trim, as you see here. So one's gonna, I'm gonna put the same one on the back. You can put whatever paper you want, but I think I'll just go with the same color on the back. Since I already got it cut. Decorating could take you a very long time. <laughs> it depends how particular you are about things. Okay, so this is going to go right over toward the edge. I think she is center it. Now, I did not layer up this one, but I think it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And how pretty is this? Okay. Let's go ahead and put the back one since we got it made up. Okay, so I'm going to get this on. Just make sure you try to line it up as straight as you can. down and that looks really 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 pretty okay so now I've got the outside and the inside flaps done so now I'm gonna move on to my first page and I think on each one of these I'm just gonna cover the pages and then I'll just put it make them decorative if I want to add an extra layout on it I'll add it, but I'm thinking that this one I might make it just like just like a scrapbook. So I don't think I'll do different layouts. I think I'll do the same thing like what's already in here and just go that way. I think that will be the easiest and it will still be pretty. So I'm going to start working on my pages. I'm going to go ahead and get some paper cut so we can go ahead and get it adhered on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut myself multiple sheets of paper here, and I'm just going to go ahead and decide which one I want on the front, and I have this one right here, and I think that this one would really be pretty on the front. Um, because it is black, I think that I should layer this one up.
just to add a little bit of color coming out, but the other one I'm not. So I'm going to put that one aside and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the next page and I'm just going to start layering up. Now, some of the other pages on the other side look cute too. So I'm just going to try to use, um, try to use both sides, but I really like the striped side. I love the cupcake side. They're also so cute. So using this glue. I hope that watching me decorate this album is not boring for you. If it is, I'm sorry. This is what I need to be doing this afternoon and I wanted to bring you along with me. So I've got that one. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna do the fronts of the pages first. This one is super cute. I'm gonna go with this one next. lined up the best that I can this is the paper is just so gorgeous I have some cut from the other collection as well this one is super cute too I'm gonna go with the red yellow polka dotted that's so cute too and the other side is too I need to do both having your base already made and a layout that you can work with on the pages is so cute and like I said I'm not I don't think I'm going to do extra stuff on these I am just going to leave it this way because it's super super cute and i think it's going to be album slash scrapbook style that's cute too just make sure you get enough glue Okay, so now I got the front of these. Look at that already. So cute. This one is going to go here, but I really, really do um, need to layer this one up because of the black. So I'm going to do that, but I see a little bit of a raggedy trim edge on there. So I am going to, I'm going to trim it just a little. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. It's a little better. I hated cutting this one like this because there's cutter parts on the other side, but at least I have two pages of this one. So I'm going to layer this up and then we'll get that on. Okay. The so I have all the paper in my book. So let me just do a recap of what it all looks like here. Some of my pages get, they pull up. So I did this one on the front and as you see, I added a little bit of blue trim. And then here, this page opens up and it's like this. Some of them I might just put like tickets or, you know, just ephemeras or I might put small photo mats on each one. Um, but yeah, this is what this page looks like. Isn't this so cute? Oh, I love it. So darling. And then hey, I found this in my old collection I have, so I added it there. I thought that was darling. For this one, I will not do anything on there because I think it's just darling the way it is. And then I also found this, the cameras on my other collection, my old collection I have. And then I have this page. And this right here, I found it on the back of, of one of the pages. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave it like that. Journaling could be done. And um, it's got a little calendar. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then here I got some yellow. The red and red and yellow and it just started raining got some castles 
and then back here. So that's what it's looking like so far. How cute is this turning out? Look, I am, I'm excited about this. This is so much fun. It's so much fun not have to worry about, um, oh, is, you know, to have to make the spine and the hinges and stuff like that. It's actually a lot of fun just to use this pre-made album. And um, it's uh, super cute. Now, some of my pages kind of got a little little bent a little bit because of the glue the way it dries whenever it like was folded over so I'm trying to get them where they kind of bend straight so anyway okay so let me decide let's decide what we want to put on the front and let's see here sorry for my arm y'all I've got some of these cut aparts or are these ephemera pack here so let's see what I got, have in here to work with. And also, let's see here. Today was worth the wait. Love this. Smile, big smiles. Oh, I love these. Those are so cute. I have that. And then also, I can use this right here and cut these scene setters. These out here. Um... So I can use this as well on some of the pages. So I think I'll go ahead and get this cut up. I've got cut aparts that I can use. And then I'll make some, I will make some um, photo mats as well. So let me get all ready. And then we'll just start putting the stuff in there in the album. Okay, so I've pulled out tons of cut aparts, ephemeras. Just different things that I have that I know I can work with. And in my old paper pack that I had, um, I found this big ticket. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna layer it up on some red. And then I'm going to trim it off. And I think I'll put um, my niece, which the person that I'm swapping with, I think I'll put her name on here. So I think that that would be super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. Actually, let me see if I've got my tape over here and if I've got enough. I think I'll go ahead and just use tape on this. So I know it comes out nice and flat. I'm just going to layer up and almost everything that I have um, in here, everything I'll probably will layer it up for the most part and just make sure that it, it looks good it looks pretty because you want things to look inviting and if you took the time to layer up and give it that little extra border i think that your partner will appreciate it or the recipient of the album will appreciate it so i'm going to see if i can find um i think i'm going to find some some letters to put on here i think that would be super cute and i think it would be super cute to add this in the front of the album because it's the ticket to get into the park. So I think that will be super cute. So let me find some letters and we'll get that filled in. Okay, so I found these um, um, stickers that I have and um, my niece, her name is Angie. So I think I'll put Angie on here. Try to fit this where it all fits. I'm going to try. I don't I know why they made the letters look like some of them are lowercase and then some of them are upper. Because the G is like upper. I'm hoping I don't I can fit this. Let's see if I might have to move it over. So just kind of play with your stuff and um, just kind of see how everything is going to fit. You want it to be inviting and fun. We'll see if it's a vacation. Okay. My niece has never, she doesn't like to fly and she's always working bless her heart and so um i wish that i could have her come down and visit me because her and i are only a little more than 
Okay, that's pretty cute. I'll do like that. So there, I got a ticket with her name on it. So the ticket is going to go here. It's going to go in the front pocket. So it's got her name on it. And um, let's see what else we can do here. Um, I'm thinking that for this for this front pages, I need to, I think I should just add some little jimmies on here. So let me grab my basket of jimmies. So what I've got here, tons of different ones. Well, I've got some yellow here that would be pretty. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to glue a few on. This is just a beautiful, just a, just a fun little page. I'll put the, another one here. And the glue that's coming out the edge, because I over glue, um, it will dry it clear. It will be fine. And these are sticky, but, you know, I like to add a little extra just so they'll stay. So that looks good. look and see if I have a little something that I could put on here. Oh, look at this one. The happiest place in the world. That is cute. And let me see if I have a scallop to cover it, to add on to it. And I think it would be so cute to add this on but I need to layer. Okay, so I cut myself a scallop and I used this two and a half inch hole punch. And I think I'm just gonna layer this up. And look at that, that'd be so cute. So let's just get some glue on here. Don't you just love sitting and crafting in your craft space and just listening to the rain? I don't need a radio on. My grandkids, they just don't understand why I like to just, I think I'm going to take off this Jimmy right here and I'm going to put this like off to the side. I'm going to move that over there. And I'm just going to glue this one on. But yeah, they don't understand. They, My grandson, first thing he get does is he wants to watch TV. I'm like, you don't need to watch TV. Why don't we talk? That's, that's the thing these days. Okay, so I've added that happiest place on earth. So I like that. That's pretty cute. So I'm not going to do too much on this page. It's just a nice page of the Magic Kingdom, a nice picture of the castle. So got that. So you kind of want to work your way through and see how you can decorate some of your pages. Um every picture tells a story that's super cute I think that this would be good like on one of the more solid pages and I don't want to put that there but maybe this one will this this page right here since it's close to where the camera is will be super cute so I think you kind of get the idea, just kind of go around, just uh, add what you want. I'm going to make a few photo mats, and uh, you know, it might take me a few, you know, a little bit of time to finish everything that I want to do in the album, but I hope that my niece likes it. It's hard to think of her as my niece. She is my niece, except she <laughs> is not very much younger than me. So, okay, so this is one that I cut the scallop out of, but I can use this as a border trim on it and just cover up where the hole is and just continue to use this. That way I just have a little tiny, teeny bit of border. So let's do that. 
And then I'll glue it on. You'll never know there's a hole in there. I'm going to start it on the side. And see, it just, it just fit just perfectly. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I hope this is not getting too boring for you. Um, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to add lots of decorations. And uh, just to kind of decorate it up. And I'll show you the end result. Okay? So I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, I just wanted to touch base and show you progress that I have made. So you've seen the front part. Some of the pages, they get stuck out, so I gotta fix them. Okay, so you saw the front. Here's the ticket that I made, and that's my partner's name. And um, this is how I did the front page. So then when you open up here, this was part of one of the pages, and I just cut the happy moments, um, happy innocent smile out. And I made a photo mat. I added this sticker that came with the collection. And I have randomly cut, I have this punch that I got at Joann's. And so I'm cutting some little Mickey heads to randomly put around, like on my photo mats or just for decoration. So on this page, what I did is this was a strip on one of the pages that you could cut out is like the scenes on there. And so I cut it out and I just glued it down and I made it a little pocket for this photo mat. And then here we go. I'm on here. I added little heart, happiest place on earth. Today was awesome. So I've still got these to go. And I added in this big camera and say cheese. And this was also part of that one page where you can just cut everything out. So I added on the bottom because it looks like a movie, like a movie um, clip or whatever. And then every picture tells a story. So that was one of the cut aparts that I have. This is one of the stickers that I have and I layered it on some red. And I have had miles and miles of smiles and I put this, this a balloon here and I'll put a photo mat here. And I'll put a photo mat here too. This doesn't, if she doesn't go to Disney, she can just put family photos in here. Um, so anyway, and then I've got um, this page right here. We'll have a photo mat. I added one on here and I had this Mickey sticker. Did a photo mat. Me and the mouse was a sticker. I layered it and put it on some foam tape and added a Mickey head. Haven't done anything there. On this particular one right here, I added the sticker of the castle. And these I still have to go. So, still got a little ways to go, but I'm making it. And um, these were also, this was a sticker. I layered it up on black. And this was also one of the ephemera pieces. And I just made them little sweet tags to put here in the back. Just like this. So, that's what I'm looking at right now. So, this will be a two-parter. I can't show you everything on one. This will be way too long. So, um, yeah, I think that it's turning out super cute. The papers are just so fun. I love the touch of blue that's in this. It just brightened it up so much. And, y'all, this is just super fun. Super, super fun. So, I can't wait to get back on this. I've got to go in there and figure out what my husband and I want to eat for, for dinner. We kind of ate a late lunch, so we probably will have something simple like like maybe some wheat toast with avocado and an egg on top um so and then um yeah then i'm gonna get my evening going and at least i'm working from home tomorrow so i'll be able to work on this on my break or so forth and um yeah it's turning out good i'm gonna save the do the cover for last um i do notice right here my paper is tearing the right here so i'm gonna have to do something to fix that other than that, it looks pretty good except right there. So I'm going to have to figure out um, to fix that. So yeah, I didn't make the cover. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. But the paper, maybe, I don't know. So I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure out something. But yep, it's looking good. Looking so good. And um, yeah, so I'm going to end this one here. And um, so it's not too long. And I will be back um, soon with my next part. 
and hopefully to get this finished up so I can move on to what the next item is I want to do for my swap partner. And um, yeah, anyway, have a good night, y'all. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And um, thank you for all the new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Let me know if you've made it to the end. I know just decorating can be kind of tedious and hopefully it's not boring for you, but um, it's actually one of the fun parts of of the uh, of the of making the album is just decorating it up and just making it beautiful. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.